Canuck's current streak is like the economic downturn. It's bad right now, but eventually things will get better. They have to. Things are cyclical, right? Even Maple Leaf fans have had their good times. Mind you, that was the late 60s. Vancouver hasn't won a home game since last year. Nine straight at home without a win. Tomorrow, they will host Carolina. But will defenseman Shane O'Brien play in that game? He didn't play in the game against Minnesota on Saturday, and because of that, he's not very happy with the land Vigneault right now. Last week, Shane O'Brien showed his frustration in practice by going after his own teammate. But his problem wasn't with Willie Mitchell. It was with the fact that he knew he would be a healthy scratch on Saturday versus Minnesota, a situation that is clearly not sitting well with him. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say all the right things. That, well, I'm just happy to be part of the team. I mean, I want to play. I want to improve as a player. I want to stay in the league as long as I can. And you can't do that from, uh, from the press box. I'm happy he's not happy. And uh, hopefully the next time he gets in the lineup, he'll play well for us. I'm not asking to be a first unit power play 25 minutes a night. I'm just, uh, you know, I like to, I like to be, you know, for them to trust me and put me on the ice. And when they couldn't put me out there in the third period, the last two games, and you know, if you can't put a guy on the ice in the third period, then maybe he shouldn't even be here. So I'm just frustrated, and uh, you know, maybe I shouldn't be saying the things I'm saying, but I'm just being honest with you guys. You know, he just needs to get back to playing a, a good hard style and uh, stay away from the. You know, the little hooking and the, the, the penalties that, uh, you know, put the team in trouble. O'Brien's level of frustration was not eased by a recent one-on-one -on -one with Alan Vigneault, a meeting in which O'Brien says he was told he needed to drop the mitts more often. Another right from O'Brien. They just questioned my physical play and, uh, you know, why well, I hadn't been in a fight in over a month and stuff like that. And... Uh, to be honest with you and to be honest with them, I just said I wasn't really focused on that. I was just trying to be a player, and if someone came in, in my way or took liberties on my teammates, then, uh, like I've done my whole career, I'm going to get in there. If that's what he heard, he misheard, obviously, because uh, I was very specific with him when I addressed him that uh, we need him to have that physical presence. We need the other team to know that when he's on the ice, the other team is aware of it. I don't know how he could have misinterpreted it. Does it bother you that they would maybe expect you to go out there and fight? Absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, they just, you know, fighting is, is a thing that it's not fun. I didn't grow up say, oh, I want to get to NHL so I can fight every night. I mean, I, I, I grew up so I can play. And, uh, you know, when, when management says uh, fighting is the reason you're here, then, you know, you got to look yourself in the mirror and maybe, uh, maybe it's not the situation you thought it was. Ottawa lost to the Canucks in December. Which in the NHL is grounds for